Welcome again to Living Room Requests. Hello there. We have four, but four, oh gosh. Four songs, yeah. Four songs, but <laughs> nothing very modern this time. So, you can get so if you came here looking for Adele, you can switch off. <laughs> no, you can you can follow the link in the description to Ad to, to us doing to, Adele. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And um, uh, what's the other one called? Snow Patrol. Oh Billie yes, Eilish. Billie all, Eilish. Of, all of them. We get everything here. Uh, we're going to start with uh, one of John's requests. Uh, I took my harp to a party and nobody asked me to play. Matt's brought his harp to this party, but he's not going to play it for this song. <laughs> Furthermore, oh sorry, go on. No, no, that's, I wasn't going to say anything about that's that. That's a funny joke. That was Punch all. Line. That was it. Uh, but um, what I was going to say is uh, that people who have made their requests here went to patriciahammond.com forward slash requests or they emailed patriciahammondsongs at gmail.com and paid their very small fee on PayPal. All the details are at the link I just gave. Any song. We'll give any song any a go. Song. And, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks, a few weeks, you could see your own song right here alongside the likes of these and many more. That's true. Is that true, true or That's false? true. That's true. Uh, so I took my harp to a party 1933, another Gracie Fields number. I don't know why I'm saying another. We, well, we did we one, just one very recently. We don't think it's blurring. Chronologically. Blurring yep. Very good. I took my harp to a party. It starts with Christmas is coming, which is technically true. Christmas is technically coming. As Always. soon as Christmas is over. Oh. That's true.
missed it. I missed it. It spun her out of control, and I, I, I didn't need That's it. Okay. That's okay. See, uh, he was so particular how I was going to play that darn triangle. It's one of those classic uh, musical jokes. Look what happens when you hit it, right? <laughs> you hit it, and then it does that, right? So where are you going to hit it, especially if you're reading the words? Hey, it's one of those... Seems easy, but it's hard. It's one of those <laughs> musical jokes when people go, oh, I'll just be at the back playing the triangle, because they think it's, like, easy. super easy, and you can just whack it any time, and it's... And, and, it's not, is it? No. You can, from first-hand experience, you can say there's a lot to playing a triangle. Yeah, well, it spins. It spins all over. Oh, all right, sure. Right, where spins. are we going now? Thank you very much uh, to John. John. Yeah, and as we said, we've got John's, John's got coming up John's got concert on Monday. Fantastic. Uh, John's done some less, well, popular, popular, I would, I'd say easily, easily uh, quantified, I'd say less popular selections, but a lot of them were well, very popular. Basically, he's not in, asking the for the times. Beatles, you know, so, so yeah, yeah. But some of these songs were... No, they're really as, specialized and... Some of these songs were as popular in their time as the Beatles were in their time and thereafter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's a very good point. Uh, okay, oh, time for me to come and play the harmonium now. Oh, are we doing that already? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's right. Okay, that explains that then. Okay. Because last time we had, it might not have been last time, last time but one, we had another request from Glenn, who's uh, requested oh, yes, this, is this Glenn. song, didn't we? Uh, with the same word, but you can explain the relationship. Okay, so what happened was, Glenn asked for, to, to, to honour Harry Seacombe, uh, she asked for Jerusalem. And I said, do you mean... Jerusalem or the Holy City, because I remember being a child and going through all the Victorian songbooks, which I absolutely loved Victorian songbooks as a child. I love the things where it's like, da, 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 you're playing all these chords and it makes a big noise and it's great. I highly recommend. Um, Excelsior is a good one for that. Um, anyway, so yeah, when I, when I was a kid, I thought that Jerusalem was the Holy City because it goes, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Uh, yeah. So I thought, oh, for sure. Um, so I so I just thought, do you mean the Holy City or do you mean... Because Harry Seacombe's recorded them both. And wonderful Glenn, she said, do them both. So we are doing the Holy City in honour of Harry Seacombe. Another one, like Ken Dodd, who was a wonderful singer and also a very funny man. Look at these singers who are funny men. I mean, like, Dean Martin was an incredibly yeah, funny go. fella. Again, yeah. And a good singer. Yeah. So here we go, the Holy City. This is a bit of a... This is what, 1892, did you say? Yes, 1892, the same uh, as the baggage coach ahead, which we just did. And uh, the words are by Fred Weatherly, who yes. wrote a lot of popular songs. This, slightly after this period, I would say, some of his most popular ones. Including... Yes. Danny Boy. Danny Boy, Rose of Picardy. Yep. Two quite two quite standout uh, numbers. There. This thing goes many places. Yes. <laughs> I just want to say I'm not practicing my scales. That's actually how it goes. <laughs> Funny man. As I lay sleeping, there came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing, and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer. Jerusalem, 
washed with the glad hosannas, the little children sang. The sun grew dark with mystery, the morn was cold and chill, as the shadow of a cross arose upon a lonely Again the scene was changed, new earth there seemed to be. I saw the holy city beside the tideless sea. Yes, darling, thank you, thank you. As I imagine people holding their little glasses of port and saying, very lovely. Because that was the sound of a... a little home. A home little home, organ, a little I harmonium. Think. I think. A little harmonium. I felt you, like, you elbowed me or something, like reminding me to either be away from yeah, the microphone because I was going to sing too loud, or... I thought maybe because he wanted me to move so that people would see him do oh, his big finale. That. All I care about is the sound and the lights. And... Oh, yeah. Well, I roughly care about music somewhere in there. But, you know, some... Yeah, anyway. Get the idea. Right. Um, I'm just going to move this little... Uh, drum, do you know what? Drum here. What happened? Oh, it's over there. Whilst you tell them about John's mm. next choice. There are two, John, two, two of John's in this concert. Yeah. So yeah, the first one, I took my harp to a party and couldn't play the damned triangle. Um, right, speaking of harps, hey. see see what we did there? Well, that's what I said. You tell them about this song. See? This is called Indian Summer. It's 
music by Victor Herbert, who is this kind of, I don't, I don't know, sort of Edwardian era, 1920s. He did a lot of shows, a lot a of lot. shows he wrote. Um, and, Didn't we um, do one of his the other day? I, I, no, that was Frimmel. Okay. But we might as well. I mean, Victor Herbert's great. Thine Alone is a wonderful song. Um, anyway, <sighs> Victor Herbert, and this is called Indian Summer. And it's, it, I don't know, it sounds like it's later than it is. It's a really beautiful, beautiful mm, true. Um, song. Can I just ask you a, yes. a behind the scenes question? Is that in a good place for you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Do you want right. it higher? No, that's fine by me. Do you want it higher? No, is, that, good. is that a no, good no, place? No, no, don't move it this way. That's fine. Don't move it. Yep. So All right, know. Indian Summer. Well, whether the harp sounds Indian is up to you, but it certainly sounds sort of exotic. Well, it's Indian Summer it? isn't necessarily about India, is it? You know, I mean, it's... Well, isn't that what we're having at the moment in the UK? <laughs> no, it's not late enough for an Indian summer. I think it has to be, isn't it? February? Uh, no, what am I saying? Like this September, October Indian summer is sort of like the last bit of it. You think it's over, but then you get this bit of strange heat, you know, in, in autumn. I tell you what, other YouTubers have scripts, so it makes them seem like they know everything. They're extremely knowledgeable. Even about when you think every... they're doing it off the top of their head, they're actually got a little thing that prompts them as it, as, as they speak. Which is amazing. Blew my mind when I found that out. Thank you, John, for introducing me to that. I'd never heard of that song. I knew that song uh, from, mm, from a couple of sources, he? but the one that strikes me the most is Mantovani. Oh, Mantovani. I, you know, I'm almost certain if you search for that on the internet, that'll come up. Time was when people were sniffy about, you know, what's his first name? Oh, I want to say Giuseppe. I don't know why. No. Mantovani. 
Time was when people would sniff at him, but my goodness, could those strings play together well. Time was when people would say, oh, you can't do a YouTube concert in short trousers. But <laughs> That's right. those days have gone because they know that you can't have fans and air conditioning on in, in summers. And people Indian know that summer. now, don't they? I'm definitely going to keep that one in the repertoire. That's gorgeous, that piece. Okay, just for safety's sake, I'll be right back. You Absolutely about this for safety's sake. You've got to still... Oh. What are we singing now? We are now singing, this is for Jim. Jim, this is for Jim. Uh, Jim has requested this song. It's uh, He sent a delightful, we could not find the music for it, um, a delightful recording of Marais and Miranda. And um, they sang a lot of folk songs, very interesting and, and, and very interesting things. And this is a little song called I Think of My Darling as the Sun Goes Down. So we just, did, we're doing it by ear, although I wrote down the words, so at least I don't get those wrong. You make it sound like um, we're doing like Scriabin oh, or yeah, something that's right. by ear. We it's transcribe this. Yeah, I would like, say 98% of people like play Mozart, folk music. The young like, Mozart well. going to the Sistine Chapel and hearing forbidden, you know, Allegri's Miserere, which, you know, nobody was allowed to have the music <gasps> That's right, exactly. Yeah, it's basically exactly that. That's what we just did, yeah, like the young Mozart. Um, and, uh, you know, the, there is a recording of this, of those two uh, from the mid-50s. I would say it's part of the folk revival, to be yeah, honest. It, sure. it is. I mean, I wasn't in South Africa at the time, and that's not an area of specialist knowledge for me in that country, but I get the feeling it's part of that. Oh. So we got one, two, three, four, five things to worry about. <laughs> and this, for those who haven't seen, is called a contra guitar. Talk about folk instruments. Uh, which is a German and uh, a German instrument, they all Austrian originally. This particular one I've got in my hands was made in Germany. And uh, there it is. See if I can get it in that frame. Oh God, let's see. There, is that in? You can only see later. <laughs> Um, I don't know, but you've, so, you've got a very nice view of it on your Well, basically, we, we don't use all those monitors and everything because no one wants to see themselves all big like that from a distance. I would, uh, very no, self-conscious. So, um, yeah, it's a regular six-string guitar. And then these bass strings, you don't fret. And you just play the open strings. Here we go. I'm not even talking about my my nose flute that you just saw because I'm sure that if you're watching this you've seen my nose flute before you know like oh that thing again so I'm not even going to talk about it <laughs> but that does require description for sure yes my short intro yes The sun comes 
sun comes up, the sun comes up. I see mighty dawning as the sun comes up. Up, up above the mountains. I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride all night. When the moon is bright, when the moon is bright. I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride. I'll get there in the morning. I see my darling as the sun comes up, the sun comes up, the sun comes up. I see my darling as the sun comes up, up, up above the mountains. <laughs> that was so adorable. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was a fun concert. It went all sorts of places. There we go. And no more modern than... What's the most modern this, this concert got? I uh, oh, can't think off the top of my head. I think about so many things. 1930s, 1930s, unless this is not an older folk song and it was composed for the 50s. I think this, Furthermore, yeah. comment below if you uh, have any comments. I think that's a general rule. Uh, comment below if you have any connection to South Africa or, or, or Africa at yeah. all or if you were born Mara, in other, other countries in Africa that don't uh, longer exist. Or, um, yeah. Yeah, I think the most modern thing in this, in all, of all of these four, was 1933's I Took My Heart to a Party. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's fun. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Glenn, John, Jim. And subscribe for more, for sure. Subscribe for more. Give it a thumbs up if you feel like it. And oh, share it true, with yeah. someone. Do share it with someone. Yeah, that's the real, that's the, that's the real kick. Yeah, we sharing. Really sharing. We need to just, just you know. Share that link. Thank okay. you so much. Say na say bye bye to the nice. Say bye bye boys to the nice girls. people, the boys See and girls. See you later. Bye. See you next time. Bye bye.